Hey yo, what's up my friends? It's Patrick here and welcome to this short video here. Um, yeah, many people are asking me, Patrick, how are your controller settings looking like at your camera settings? And I thought, okay, come on, let's do a quick video for the first upload for this weekend, showing you my uh, controller and camera settings. And I think there's no surprise because, um, yeah, what I want to tell you first is it doesn't matter if you're playing on manual, if you're playing on semi or assisted. Um, it just depends on you, what you can do best. There are some people who can play better with uh, manual controls or semi-controls. Some can play better with assistant. And uh, yeah, this is what I want to tell you first. So you can't say uh, someone who's using manual controls is better or something. Uh, someone who's using semi-controls is better. It just depends on you, what you can do. And um, yeah, that's why you should show us the settings uh, which suit you best. So um, I will show you mine now. And um, I think there's no real surprise. So I have, I have auto switching on airboards. This has the reason, um, yeah, I want to defend uh, with my constant switch off the players and I want to decide myself when I'm switching those players, when the ball is on the ground. Uh, when the opponent is playing a high ball, a lob or a cross, something like that, uh, the CPU should do an automatic switch off my players. So that's why I have chosen airboards here. Then we've got auto switching move assistance and this is interesting because um, I think it's very important when uh, the CPU is changing to another player um, with all the switching. You can uh, say him that uh, your player will move in his current direction for a short time. And uh, this is also what um, has been said in the description of this. So I've got it on low because I want this player to run into his direction uh, for a short period of time as it's said there. And uh, I think it's very helpful because your player don't stand still suddenly when you're surprised you've got the player in the middle for example. And that's why I have it on low. Um, then passing power assistance is off. I think uh, this is also the um, uh, the uh, default setting when you're playing online. I don't really know if you can play with a power assistance online. I'm not quite sure, but I have it on off. Then passing assistance, uh, through ball assistance and shot assistance is all assisted. Uh, this is uh, yeah, something I ha used for such a long time. Sometimes I'm playing on a semi if I feel good playing and if I have um, a good feeling with the controller for a day, maybe you know it, sometimes you are more accurate <laughs> with the controller. I don't know how to explain it, but um, when I played Call of Duty, uh, you had uh, some days where you were very accurate and some days where you were not. And um, when I feel I'm accurate enough, I also put it on semi because I think then you've got a little advantage to be more accurate. So those three are on assistance, same with lob pass assistance, but uh, crosses are on semi. Um, yeah, crossing, uh, this is also the default setting, I think, um, in the f uh, FIFA before or FIFA... Um, uh, 13 it was um, also assisted and I turn it to semi the reason is that um, you can decide with a semi to uh, where to play the ball in with a cross for example and um, yeah when you've got it on assistant you can't really decide to play it to the player on the near post or to the player on the far post and that's why I've got it on semi here so safe assistance uh, also on semi I don't know I never used it because I never played with my virtual pro for example in the goal and analog sprint is off um, I feel good using this and um, if I'm honest I never tried out um, analog sprint on yeah maybe I should do it but I uh, feel good playing uh, with these settings so defending tactical defending of course it's a better defending in my opinion and it's also the default defending in the online mode so those were my controller settings for all those people asking me. I get so much requests about it, but now it should end, I think. And um, yeah, I think it's no real surprise. It's just uh, yeah, nearly the default settings. And in my opinion, um, it's really good. But as I said at the beginning, um, yeah, it depends on you. If you can play better with um, semi on passing, yeah, do it. Because sometimes I hear, hear people complaining, yeah, my players uh, can't play accurate passes. Yeah, of course, if you got it on assist, your, the CPU will help you. And um, sometimes you got something different in your mind. And the CPU is just going there and has assisted on and plays it to maybe 
another uh, teammate who's uh, three meters next to the one you want to play it to. And uh, yeah, this is the reason. And if you're someone who's complaining about this, try out a semi or try out manual. This will be uh, perfect for you. So. I will carry on with um, the camera settings and there's also no big surprise. Yeah, I play with the default ones here and a multiplayer as well. But um, I think, yeah, the default one is a telebroadcast. I'm not quite sure if this is right. But um, yeah, telebroadcast was something I used uh, before in FIFA 13 or 14. And now I am have the uh, default ones and it just feels good. So. Those are my settings, my friends, and um, yeah, no real surprise as I told you, but um, yeah, it would be very nice to hear your opinion about it. Tell me wh which settings you are using. Uh, are you uh, maybe the manual player uh, or are you the more the semi player or do you play on assisted and maybe complaining about the CPU sometimes doing stuff for you? This will be very interesting to know and um, yeah, I'm out my friends, this was a short video, stay tuned for more and um, yeah, I wish you all the best, peace!